Let's talk 18. For the past seven weeks, we have been going through the word of God in series. Without doubt, we know that the Bible was written by divine inspiration. Second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16. I read from the King James Version. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. We know the word is true and never fails. We know of its importance and that it is a spiritual weapon. We talked about its benefits and taking heed with obedience, inclusively what the word does for us. Now it's time to round up. Welcome to this special platform, Iconic Baby Steps. Join me, Tony Odutola, and become a friend of God. All glory be to God. Remember that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are blessed. You are what the word of God says you are. You are redeemed. You are a chosen generation. Today's message is a word of encouragement and inspiration titled The Word Series 7. What should we do with the word? Brethren, let's get straight to the point. Establishing a good relationship with God is of the utmost importance to anyone who believes in God. Everyone should regard it as a task of paramount importance and the biggest event in their life. Everything you do is measured by whether you have a normal relationship with God. In God's word, we can see that it's quite important to have a proper relationship with God. So how can we achieve that? Feed on the word, for it is our spiritual food. Let us not be like those who cast aside the word of God, preferring instead the empty promises of this world. Let us treasure the word of God, hiding it in our hearts so that we might not sin against him. Psalm 119 verse 11. Your soul needs to be fed. If you are not intentional about healthy ways to feed your soul with the word of God, you might find yourself spiritually starving. It's one thing to believe and know the word. It is another thing to rely on it, to look to it as a guide during the difficulties and challenges of life. To lean on it for encouragement and hope. Matthew chapter 4 verse 4. I read from King James Version. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by his word. Jeremiah 15, 16. It says, thy words were found and I did eat them. I would like you to go and open your Bible and check all the verses that I will be mentioning during this chat, during your quiet time. We must work diligently with the text in order to rightly handle the word of truth. Second Timothy chapter two, verse 15. As Paul tells us in today's passage, let us follow sound interpretative principles and read the Bible with the community of God's people, the church, so that we 
do not go astray. Teach the words to children. Share it with your kids, your husband, your co-workers, your friends. Post a scripture on your social media. Don't keep all the goodness to yourself. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 7. I read, And thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. I also read the same Deuteronomy chapter 11, 19. And ye shall teach the word unto thy children. Psalm 78 verse 1 to 8. You can read during your quiet time. Teach milk to babes and meat to the mature. Take in the milk and meat of the word through Bible study. Milk is less difficult truths, while meat is more difficult truths that require more of you. It is important that we know where we begin with the milk of God's word and that we recognize the necessity for growth in understanding the milk so that we can go on to understand the meat. Praise the Lord. John 16 verse 12. It says, I have many things to say. Ye cannot bear them now. And 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verses 1 to 2. I have many things with milk and not with meat. All these are not complete sentences. I would like you to do this, to take it as Bible study and go and open them yourself and read them. Love the word and let it dwell in your heart. What is amazing is that David, in the book of Psalms, I mean, especially if you go and read through chapter 119, David takes things one step further than we might expect. It's not just that he trusts studies and uses the word of God. He actually had affection for it. He had a deep emotional affinity towards it. Deuteronomy 11, 18. Lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul. And Psalm 40 verse 8. I delight to do thy will. Thy law is within my heart. You can also read Colossians chapter 3, 16. 1 Timothy chapter 4, 15. Another point is study the word and search the scripture. Pray, meditate, and memorize. First and hunger are developed. If you don't have a desire for reading the Bible, develop an appetite for it. David doesn't just believe the word. He is a student of the word. He learns it. He learns everything. He seeks. He had memorized it and regularly meditated on it. You can find this in Psalm 119. To meditate on God's word is to allow it to penetrate your soul. The origin of the word meditate is likened to a cow chewing her cud. It's a great place to start practicing this method of feeding your soul. Use a passage of scripture as a frame of, of prayer. John 5 verse 9, you can read during your quiet time. Acts 17, 112, Timothy chapter 2, 15. I mean, first Timothy. Answer questions and witness with the word. This is very essential. This is a powerful means of feeding your soul. Spending time with believers 
who constantly speak the truth of God's word to you is invaluable. We must often read God's word, fellowshipping about the truth and practicing it and perform our duties well to repay his love. Beyond that, there are other ways you can continually feed your soul by hearing God's word. Attend a church that preaches the Bible. Listen to the sermon online. Listen to an audio Bible, apart from reading the Bible. Listen to the scripture. And some are set as music, which is an easy way to memorize. You can read Proverbs 22, verses 20 to 21, Titus chapter 1, verse 9, 1 Peter 3, 15. You can check these from your own Bible, as I said, during your quiet time. Teach and preach the word. When we share the feast of God's word with others, it delights our heart. And it's something we're called to do. A regular diet of God's word is sure to keep your soul well nourished. Psalm 18 verse 11. Jeremiah 23 verse 28. God never leaves us, but we easily stray from God. Are you willing to take some time to study God's words and get close to him. Brethren, if you haven't given your life to Christ, why not join me today and become a friend of God by accepting him as your personal savior when or while you can do so. Tomorrow might be too late. Please say this prayer after me. Dear Lord, I come to you in full repentance. I accept you as my one and only personal savior. Lord, I ask for your forgiveness of all my sins, known and unknown. I am sorry for taking you for granted. Write my name in your book of life. Father, I declare that I am nothing without you. I depend on you for everything in my life. I say bye-bye to the devil and carry the cross of righteousness. Please give me the grace to serve you, Lord, in spirit and in truth. Let your everlasting peace reign in me. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 I congratulate you for taking a bold step of faith. For further information to pray with you, guide you and support you, you can contact us via the email address placed on the screen. Thank you for joining me today. God bless and see you next time. Bye.